Hi, it's Ryan from Ryan Fowler Photography again, and from my past few tutorials, you'll notice that I've not long got Lightroom, and I'm learning quite a lot in there, and I'm actually recording how I do it and sharing it with the YouTube world. And this one, I'm going to actually show you how to uh, tether your camera to your computer through Lightroom, which is a pretty handy little trick to know. Um, so all I'll do is I'll go up to File in the top top screen and come down here to Tethered Capture and that was just my test session that I put up. Normally it would put just Studio Session. Um, so what I'll do is I'll leave that as that. Um, these I won't change. And then I will simply hit OK. This may take a second to recognize your camera but it will come up. There it is, Canon EOS 600D, that's me. I've changed the settings. Uh, I did have to do all of that on the camera. Um, but what I'll do is I'll take a quick test shot, um, one using my camera and one using the actual computer because you can actually take shots. So all I'll do is I'll line up my shot, aim it at my subject, take the shot, and then that will instantly go across, so that's just a glass that's sitting on my table. And now if you've got all your settings here, you've got them all set, or instead of actually hitting the shutter button on the camera, all you can have to do is click the capture button. Oops. And there you go, there's another shot of the exact same glass. I do have a big flash on. Um, just for fun and then you can actually go through develop them straight from as you're taking them so you can change you can change exposure Ooh, that's very bad a bit of contrast drop the highlights create shadows whites blacks whatever you want to do that's a pretty artistic effect so that is how I um, learned how to tether my camera. I do have it in full manual mode. And to stop, or you do go back up to File, next to Lightroom, I am using a Mac. Come down here to Tethered Capture. Just hit Stop Tethered Capture. And now it's stopped. You can go through, edit them, disconnect your camera, walk away, do whatever you need to do. So there you go.